The strings louder. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Switcher T Scored, and today I'm bringing you guys a 29 gun streak FAD Moab uh, playing 6v6 domination on the map Arcaden. And uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy this gameplay here today. I don't really have that much to say about the gameplay, but I just want to say uh, I'm really going to try to start uploading more Moabs for you guys uh, because I know that's kind of like the main hallmark of my channel. It's what you guys mostly love to see, uh, and it's probably the biggest reason my channel has grown to the size that it has now. And uh, I know my Infinite Warfare videos haven't really done as well as I wanted them to, so I just figured I want to try to mix it up more and just try to upload more Moabs like I used to. Probably Probably not every day, but like more often now, I want to upload more Moabs for you guys, and I'm sure you guys will enjoy that, as will I, uh, so hopefully you guys will, and uh, for today's video, you guys, I want to talk a little bit about the presidential election, and I know what happened a few weeks ago now, but this is the first time I've been home since then from college, so uh, today, I just wanted to talk for like five minutes about the election, and just kind of like my general thoughts and stuff, because it's really important, it's probably one of the biggest elections to ever happen in the United States, and I just figured I really want to share my thoughts on my channel and just let you guys know what I think about the election and how it went down and all that sort of stuff. So, as you guys know, Donald Trump won the presidential election, uh, which means in about two months in January, he's going to be sworn in as the new president of the United States, which is pretty insane. I remember like a few years ago when he talked about running for the presidency, everyone was like, oh my god, that's a funny joke. You know, Donald Trump as the president. Uh, there's no way Donald Trump would ever win the presidency and stuff. And, you know, now he actually won, you guys, which is absolutely insane. He's the first president ever that is a billionaire. His net worth is like $4 billion, which is insane for someone who's the president. Usually the president wins, and they, they've been like a governor, a senator, and, you know, they don't really have that much money and stuff. But he has $4 billion, which I don't know how that's going to affect his presidency, but he can probably do a lot more than most presidents in the past because he can support a lot of his own ideas and a lot of his own politics and stuff. He has four billion dollars, uh, which is literally insane for the president of the United States. So, uh, first of all, I think that's insane. Also, he's the oldest president to ever be elected. Uh, when Ronald Reagan was elected, he was uh, 69 years old, and Donald Trump right now is 70. So, even though he looks a lot younger than he really is, which is probably due to all his fake tanning and plastic surgery and stuff, he is the oldest president we've ever had, which I don't really know if that's a good idea. Uh, I feel like when we have these really old presidents, they're kind of out of touch with like the younger citizens, like people in their 20s and 30s. He's a really old, rich, white guy. He's not really in touch with a lot of the citizens in the United States, and I feel like that's not really a good thing. And uh, also, you guys, the main thing I want to say in this video is just I really, really don't like Donald Trump, uh, but I also didn't like Hillary Clinton as well. I really hate both of them, and I want to try to elaborate on that. So, uh, as you guys know, Donald Trump is probably one of the most racist, sexist, you know, people you'll ever meet in your life. He said so many things about women and about black people and Mexicans that I honestly can't even believe. If anybody else besides Donald Trump would say things like that, they would be, you know, people would be extremely mad. And people are super mad now, but it's like he's the president of the United States now. And I can't believe we actually voted for a guy who says some of the things that he says. He literally says things like, all Mexicans are scumbags and they deserve to die and Mexicans are useless. Women are only used for sex and, you know, women should just die because they're not they're not as good as men. And, you know, just some crazy, crazy things. He's made fun of retarded people. or and I, I really don't like the word retarded, but uh, he's made a lot of fun of mentally challenged people and stuff, which I think is really really sad. You should never make fun of people because of a mental disability that they have, and he's done that plenty of times. And just some of the things he says, I just can't even believe. And the fact that we actually voted for a guy who supports things like that, and who supports a lot of his ideas, is just beyond me. But... You know, Hillary as well, I really don't like her. She's a liar. She's lied about a lot of things in the past, and she should honestly be in prison uh, for a lot of the things she's done, and she's really, really corrupt. Uh, if anybody else besides her has done those things, uh, it's just because of the fact she was the Secretary of State for the United States, and she was the First Lady back when Bill Clinton was the President, so she gets away with a lot of things that she's done, and if it was anybody else besides her, they would be locked up in jail, so I really don't like 
Trump or Clinton, but the thing is, now you guys, we elected Trump, we have to kind of just roll with it, and in a few years, if we don't like him and he does a really, really poor job, then somebody else will run for the presidency and we can elect them, but I didn't vote, you guys, I just want to say I didn't vote for Trump or Hillary because I can't support either of them, I really, really hated both of them, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, I'll see you guys next time, peace.